it might sound silly, but an important part of my art process I've found is in the concept sketch. If I love a sketch, there's a very good chance that I'll love the painting if I can execute it properly. And with this concept sketch, I I was obsessed with it almost in, well, immediately. I say that a lot, but it's like I was enamored with it and like the possibilities of it because it's very, it, it can, it, there's so much feeling, so much can be taken away from it. I don't know. I can't, I can't even put it into words, but it's like something about the concept sketch. It was just, there's like agony in it. And it's just, I, I don't know. I just feel like I captured a very unique feeling, which is always what I try to do. And with this one, I, I redrew this it was actually derived from a completely different concept sketch, but I was like, I wanted to try to render it differently and with this one I went very wide which is something I don't normally do I'm, I'm really trying to push myself each time I do this so that none of my paintings from here forward look the same they can like obviously have the similarities of my art style in them but I want them to be very distinctly different creating this really wide set body with like these small limbs it it's like a very, it's very interesting visually. And rendering it was also very interesting. It changes the way that I have to approach putting down the paint and like the underpainting even. And this is so far away from like realism. I feel like it is m becoming more abstract surrealism the more I push myself to expand and try to convey more. And with this one, there's just, there's so much depth in it for me, the meaning of it. And I went with red instead of black, which is something I've been trying to do is get away from using black so much, depending on it so much to, to express things. But I just really love black. I love black. I love black so much. It's like a power color. It's a power color. It's mystical. It's mysterious. It's, it's just so, it's, it's everything. With the red, it conveys something, like, very raw and, oh, it's just enigmatic. Enigmatic. Perfectly. I don't like realism. Real, uh, realism, for me, it has no magic. It conveys nothing, really. I don't know. I think I'm just very disenchanted with reality because when I look at things, it's just like, uh, I don't know. It's bleak. And this is something completely different for me. And it's new territory, and I'm just really pleased with how I've been able to do this. And with this one in particular, I wanted to try to utilize more of the canvas. Although I have been working smaller, I think, what is this, 12 by 16 or 14 by 16 inch canvas paper? I, I don't typically fill the canvas anymore because I've gotten away from that art style or at least like stylistically and there's just oh, I don't know I'm just I'm just so happy with it it's like the starkness of the white backgrounds with like the vibrancy and the movement of my art style it's just so I don't know like there's something about it that just like really speaks to me I don't know what this I call it I've called it my haunting era or my haunted era but this is just I don't know it's like I don't know. I'm a buzz with creativity. I've been, I've been sketching so much every day. And I'm just, I don't know. These are coming together so well. And I sketched my concept for like, I redrew it. I've been drawing my concepts like three to four times to really render out all the possibilities. And I'm just, oh, I'm just so pleased. If you. If you feel anything when you look at this, anything similar to what I feel, or if you don't, you're like, you hate it, this is garbage, comment that, please. Thank you, because it would help my video get more views and more likes, and I'm trying to grow my channel, so please consider doing that. Thank you. Harvest of my inner torment on display right next to the falafel cart. I like that. And he was not motivated by the base aspects of humanity. He wanted to create his art, and that's all he cared about. He just wanted to make art that no one could see.